G'day guys and girls, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name's Nathan, or Lethal Force as I go by online. Uh, just an introduction, I, uh, I game, stream, do all sorts of things, but uh, in my spare time I build gaming PCs for people. And uh, for over the years I've just got to know certain things about PCs uh, and I just wanted to share a bit with you. Um, I'm not all about this, hi everyone, all hyped up intros and bullshit. Uh, this is just about helping you guys uh, get the best out of your PC. Now this is especially uh, for the people that I've built PCs for um, and anyone else who really wants to know. Now this is just a quick guide on optimization of drives and it's a very important thing to keep doing um, and I'll just run you through it quickly. Now... The reason why we do this is because we want to reduce clutter, reduce files that don't need to be clogging up our drives and keep them in optimal uh, working order. So to, to begin with, what you want to do is navigate to the This PC tab. Uh, if you can't find that, you can just go down to the search search bar here, here we are here, and, find, and type in This PC, you'll find it that way. But anyway, you come up with a screen like this, it'll have all your drives listed. So... What you want to do is, is generally it'll work, it'll do the most on the op operating system drive. So whichever drive here has got the operating system, but you can do this for all your drives. Right click on that, go down to the properties, properties there. Now once this has come up, you've got all these sorts of options up the top here, but at the moment we just leave it on general. Uh, you'll see here, uh, disk clean up. Now you can also compress this drive to save space. That's usually unchecked, but you can keep it on to compress the files to make them smaller, obviously. I'll just get rid of my head for a sec because it's uh, wigging out the camera. Now you want to click on disk clean up. Done. Now I've cleaned my files late, lately, so you don't need... I, I won't be showing any great amounts of uh, data that needs to be getting rid of, but... What you want to do is you want to check the boxes down the left hand side, I have them all checked, why not? Uh, and then it'll give you a rating up here up the top of how many megabytes or gigabytes that it will clean up for you. So mine's only got 13.6 megabyte at the moment, but typically, uh, especially after a Windows update, you might have 4, 5, 6 gig in there that you can uh, get back of hard drive space. Right, so click the boxes down the left hand side, click clean up my system files, right, so it runs a scan, it says right, we now have 61.2 megabytes of, of junk that you don't need. So you go, OK. And it asks you whether you want to permanently delete these files. Go, yes. You delete those files. Now that's cleaned up that drive. It's got rid of the rubbish. Depending on the file size or how much it's going to clean up, this could take a little while. But it doesn't generally take too long. Now, you can set that to do... Oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. Right, so we can do that for each drive. What you can also do is, if you look up the top here, you've got the Tools tab. Now, this is a pretty, uh, pretty handy tab because what one of two things you can do is you can check your drive for errors. So, for instance, I'll just check this drive. So it says I don't need to scan it because there's no errors, but, for instance, we can scan it. Uh, it won't take that long. It just runs a scan. Now, if you've got any, and I've seen it happen before, if you've got a... Uh, faulty hard drive uh, it'll come up with some errors or or if it's got a faulty file in the operating system or something it'll it'll come up there and it'll tell you um, so you know so this drive was successfully scanned there was no issues that's fine we weren't really interested in that bit right at the moment what we're interested in is the optimize and defrag the drives so we can click that now what defragmentation is is especially on a um, on a uh, like a mechanical drive disk when it's got a CD in it. Now, when you download something or when you install a file, it will install it fragmented. So what that means is the disk will be spinning and the laser will be inputting the data and it'll input a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit somewhere else. It won't all be uniform and it won't be together. So what happens when the PC goes to load is it's got to find a little bit of data over here, a little bit of data over there and scatter it all over the disk, put it together and then load it. So if you defrag the drive, it'll put it all back together in one spot, it'll make it cleaner and it'll make it quicker to load. Um, so what you need to do is just select whichever drive you want here, go optimise, it'll trim the drive and that's done. SSDs will take bugger all time, like I've got two mechanical drives here and they'll take a little while, sometimes they can take up to 5-10 minutes. The first time you do it, it might take quite a while if you've never done it before. Now you can schedule it to do it itself. Uh, the computer, but I don't generally have my computer left on, so I usually miss when it's going to do it. But you can set it up in here, 
um, to do it automatically for you. But I just make it as a rule. I do it sort of once a week or once a fortnight. But I'll always do it after a Windows update because you generally find five or six gigabyte that can be getting rid of but that can give you hard drive space back. Now that's just uh, the first of uh, many tutorials I'm going to do. Uh, so I hope that's helped you guys. But it is an important one to consider and it's an important one to keep an eye on. It'll certainly free up a lot of hard drive space that uh, that's not, you know, it's being used for nothing and you can, always, you can use it for a game or a file or, or something that's relevant uh, instead of it just going full of shit. So uh, any questions, uh, just put them in the comments down below and I can answer them for you. Uh, and like I said, just, uh, just keep on top of it. it. It's simple stuff, it's not rocket science, but if you don't know, you don't know, so I'm just here to try and help. Um, if the video's helped you, chuck us, for, uh, chuck us a like. Uh, even subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that will be coming out shortly. And uh, happy gaming. Take it easy, and thanks again.